Hello, hey everybody. I'm Joey Sparks, and God's mercies are new again this morning. This morning with my mind, with my mind. Stand on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind. I've never run or participated in a, a, a major race of any kind. I don't think I've ever even been to where one was being held, say like a, a 5K or a marathon or or something like that. I've just never been at one before. And yeah, there's a lot of focus and attention on the first group to finish, on the winners. But there's just as much to be said for and to to compliment people on who are the last group to finish, the ones who never gave up. There's something true about running that's true about life and true about life in Christ, and that is you got to keep moving forward. Paul emphasizes that with the same imagery of of a race. And he says, verse 12 of chapter 3, not that I've already obtained this or I'm already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, meaning I've not achieved perfection in Christ yet. I've not achieved the final resurrection, obviously, and I still have a ways to go and, and suffering with him even more. But I do press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I've made it my own, but one thing I do. I'm not there yet. I'm not perfect, but there's one thing I can guarantee that I'm going to do. Now hold on to that phrase for just a moment. One thing I do. There are two participles in between him saying one thing I do and the one thing. So here are the two things. Forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. Here's the one thing, verse 14, I press on toward the goal, the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. But those of us who are mature think this way. It's mature to think forward. It's mature to keep pressing forward. In order to do that one thing, we must forget what's behind. Paul's done that. We must do that. Things that are negative, things that are positive. Forget what lies behind. Don't attach our worth. Don't attach our values or our identity on things that are in the past. Instead, things that are actual, true right now. And then strain forward to what lies ahead. There's this orientation that must happen. If we're going to press forward, we must align ourselves with things that are forward. We're straining toward who? Toward Christ. So then the one thing is, I press forward. I press on to the goal of that prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. So we need this reminder. reminder. We need to remember. We need this reminder. Forward is always possible. Forward is always possible. No matter where we're at, we can always go forward. Do we understand that with, with the depth necessary to keep going? Paul makes that clear. No matter how far behind we may think we are, turn forward, put the past behind us, and then begin to move forward. Forward is always possible. And for the Christian, forward is always upward. Forward must always be upward. We're straining forward toward him. He's going to then dictate our next decisions. He's going to dictate what it is that we do to press forward. Thank you for your time this morning. It's our prayer. God's timeless word will be on your mind all day today. I woke up this morning with my mind.